This demo will show Silver Peak appliances optimizing a UDP-based video stream across a wide area network. Furthermore, with the dual WAN gateway capability of the appliance, the demo will also show how the video stream stays optimized when the active WAN gateway fails. Today's customers who view video streams demand a smooth picture and a clear audio. They also want the video to be reliably accessible 24 by 7 with no service interruptions. For streaming over shared line networks, such as MPLS or IPVPNs, where the links may be much more unreliable than a private network, WAN optimization becomes a necessity. Silver Peak Appliances provide several benefits for video streaming across the WAN. Streaming via UDP is optimized by network memory and other compression capabilities of the appliance. For a WAN which causes packet jitter and loss, the network integrity capabilities will help overcome these problems. And finally, the dual gateway configuration of the appliance provides physical redundancy and rapid switchover to handle a failure at the WAN gateway. Let's move on to the demo. The demo uses a UDP video stream sent from a video server over the WAN to a client watching the video. In this topology picture, the video server is on the right side of the network and the video client is on the left side. A WAN emulator is used to emulate the WAN cloud. The first scenario you'll see is the video stream sent through the WAN without serial peak appliances in the network. At this time, the WAN has no loss or jitter. This configuration is the baseline, and the video is expected to be comparable to video over a LAN. Next, a moderate amount of loss, latency, and jitter is configured for the WAN. At this time, the client will see a noticeable degradation in the video quality. Now the serial peak appliances are brought into the network. As the appliances optimize the video stream, the improvement in the video will be apparent and the quality will be similar to the baseline quality. The second part of the demo will show how the dual gateway configuration provides optimization redundancy during a WAN gateway failure. While the video stream is active, a WAN failure is initiated at the active gateway router. This causes the video stream to switch over to the other WAN gateway. The video stays optimized after the switch. Next, the WAN failure is repaired at the gateway router. The video stream switches back to the original gateway. Again, the video stays optimized after the switch. So let's show the demo. You'll see two windows on the screen. The top window shows the video client as it's receiving the video stream from the server. The bottom window shows the tool which monitors traffic sent from the Serial Peak appliance to the two WAN gateways. The numbers on the left show the traffic sent to the original active gateway, and the numbers on the right show the traffic sent to the second gateway. At this time, the appliance is not in the network, so you'll see zeros on all the columns. So let's take a look at the video. So this is the first scenario. The video stream is sent through the WAN without the Serial Peak appliances. The quality of this video is the baseline. Now let's add a moderate amount of loss, latency, and jitter to the WAN. As you can see, the video degrades significantly as well as the audio. Let's stop the video stream and now the serial peak appliances are brought into the network. As the, op as the appliances optimize the video stream, you you'll notice that the improvement in the video will be apparent and the quality will be the same or similar to the baseline quality. Now let's initiate a WAN failure at the active gateway router.
as the network converges around the failure, you'll notice a slight pause as the traffic moves from the WAN, initial WAN gateway to the redundant WAN gateway. If you notice on the monitor screen at the bottom, the numbers on the right are now incrementing, which indicates the traffic is now moving across the redundant WAN gateway. Again, the traffic is still optimized and the video quality is clear. The last part of the demo lets repair the WAN gateway router. As the WAN gateway re router repairs, the traffic will switch back over to that gateway. As you can see from the monitor tool, the traffic has now moved all back to the initial gateway. Again, the video quality is good and the switchover was seamless. So this concludes the demo. In summary, we showed how the Surfpeak appliances optimized a UDP-based video stream across the wide area network with loss and jitter in the WAN. Furthermore, with the dual WAN gateway capability of appliance, we showed how the video stream stayed optimized when the WAN gateway fails.